The Barefoot Lawyer Reports on China is proud to announce the publication of a report on Confucius Institutes and the Chinese Communist Party's infiltration of American academic institutions. To read the report, which was published by the Catholic University of America's Center for Human Rights, please go to catholic.edu slash chr and visit our research and analyses page. Hello everyone, welcome to the Barefoot Lawyer Reports on China. My name is Will Dethridge, the producer, and joining me as always is Chen Guangcheng. Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you here again. Yeah, and today we're going to cover a couple different topics. First, we'll touch on a short news story that's come out of China. It appears that there are a couple of new stage productions going across China, touring across China, that are based on the Shawshank Redemption, the popular a movie from 1994 based on the Stephen King novel and the very popular musical theater production Les Misérables. And you know there's a bit of an irony in these theater productions touring around China because they deal with themes of, you know, escaping and opposing authoritarianism. And uh, Guangcheng, uh, there's a little bit of a history between a uh, you and the uh, Shawshank Redemption movie in particular. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, yeah, th that movie is very famous in mainland China now. Mm -hmm. A lot of activists know that. The CCP was worried that the people would keep thinking about how to oppose the CCP regime in mainland China. After I escaped, they used the uh, censorship system to put that name on a sensitive world list. Gotcha. Yeah. So, in fact, after I escaped, a lot of words about me, for example, my name, my village name, my hometown name, uh, all the words the CCP put them in sens uh, sensitive world list. And what does that mean, Guangcheng, when they That put... means you, you cannot search online that word in mainland China. Gotcha. Yeah, so that is another story, but it is very interesting, I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> in my uh, county, someone's name, you know, my last name is Chen, that one's name is Han, but the first name, uh, Guangcheng, is same, right? Our last names were different, but first name same. Right. Uh, you know, he has a small restaurant to sell some meat mm. and uh, some soup there since uh, 20 or 30 years ago. He always used his first name for that restaurant, Guangcheng Restaurant. Gotcha. But after the CCP put me under horse arrest. The government asked uh, him to change the name. Oh, wow. Yeah. If you want to keep your restaurant, you have to change the name. Wow. Uh, yeah. If you don't change the name, you have to close it. And Mr. Han asked the CCP, why I used the name since long, several years ago. Mm -hmm. the, the CCP said, okay, no reason. Change the name. Right. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah. It's yes. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he don't want to change the name. So he moved the restaurant, the address from uh, this county to another county, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But of course, the two counties are closed. In mainland China, every, the company controls everything, right? Mm -hmm. You can change the county, but you cannot change the country. The CCP still went to the new address to ask him to change the name. Mm. So later, he had to change the name. Mm. <laughs> now he used another name. Fun. So you can see there were a lot of new uh, sensitive words after I escaped. Yeah, include climb the wall, include uh, escape, even include blind people. So you're telling me that if I had been in China around the time when you escaped and I looked up the word uh, like blind or escape, I might not have been able to find any results when I was on the internet. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Any, anyway, even just one word, for example, my name, Cheng, 
Yeah. If you just use Chen, that is this is what yep. you cannot use that. Wow. Light Guang means light, right? But the leader, the CCP, put light in Chinese on sensitive uh, word, so you cannot use light. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> so going back to the Shawshank uh, Redemption, so. Can you tell us about that? How they, uh, you know, blocked that movie from being searchable uh, because of uh, your escape? Can you tell us more? Yeah, about that? in fact, you know, in the movie, the prisoner uh, took a tunnel to escape the prison. In fact, when the CCP put um, my family and me in, under the house arrest, we tried to make a tunnel too. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. In in fact, my wife spent several days to do that. That tunnel, yeah, w w was more than 10 feet long. Mm, gotcha. And later the CCP's official found it and they stopped it. So this is why since that time, since the CCP found the tunnel, mm -hmm. uh, they live in our house uh, 24 hours a day, day and night. Yeah, at that time, you know, as we we try to use different way to to escape. It is like the the movie, but my story is not a movie. That is a <laughs> real story. That is my experience. Should be made into a movie, I think. You know, yeah, a lot of I I read. hope I hope that it too. If our listener uh, have some good idea about this story to become a movie, please give us a message. Yeah, yeah. So we can discuss how to do that. Yep. Yeah. So, <clears throat> in fact, on the internet, a lot of netizens leave a message to me to encourage me make my story into a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is uh, much more interesting than that one. Than the Shawshank? Yeah. yeah. They, yes. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So, they, I so too. they encourage me a lot about that. So, I'm thinking about that. Yeah. I hope our listener can give us good idea about this. Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like uh, they lifted, they must have lifted some of the restrictions on the word, seeing how now there's a theatrical version touring around China. Um, same with uh, Les Miserables, uh, which has similar themes of fighting oppression. Guangcheng, what do you think about that? How, you know, there's these uh, plays about rebelling against authority going around uh, China right now. You know, what, what do you think about? I think the CCP will ban them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, now the CCP cannot sleep because, you know, the, the business problem, the stock market have a big problem in mainland China. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lost the money, but the CCP used the censorship system to control them to talk about this on internet. So the people come to you know the US embassy's website to leave a lot of messages there mm. because you know the CCP have to keep the free speech for the US embassy right if okay. they yeah if they delete the US embassy's account that is a foreign problem yeah, yeah big diplomatic diplomacy thing. problem right yep, yep. so the CCP cannot do that so the Chinese people come there to to comment, to criticize the CCP and to uh, talk about this. The Netherlands said that is the un only one place the people can talk in mainland China now. So you think the these uh, plays will probably get set up Yeah, again, yeah. Or? I think I think yeah, the CCP will do that. Well, I think we should think how to use the new technology to tear down the Great Firewall. We should stop selling the new technology to CCP and stop the CCP use the new te technology to do the surveillance system to do the censorship in mainland China. Right. And Guangcheng, can you explain uh, what the Great Firewall is for some Oh, Great listeners? Firewall is, a, you know, the CCP spend a lot of money and buy some new technology from the U.S. companies to create the Internet, Internet Berlin Wall. I call it Internet Berlin Wall. The Chinese people cannot climb the Internet Berlin Wall to get the free information if they don't know how to climb the Berlin Wall. Mm -hmm. but 
if the Western countries stop giving the new technology to the CCP, you know, they cannot update the Berlin Wall system. Yeah, yeah, and it'll be interesting to hear about what happens to these uh, plays that are touring around, whether they get banned or they get censored, or somehow the CCP ends up being uh, the good guy in these stories, right? They do that a lot, uh, too, right, Guangcheng? Yeah, change. yeah. Well, we encourage you to all follow our initiatives, testimonials, news, and events on our website at catholic.edu slash chr, where we touch upon a lot of these topics quite frequently at our Center for Human Rights, and share our podcast across our platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Rumble. Guangcheng, thank you very much for information today. Thank you, Will. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, please give us a good idea. See you next time. The Barefoot Lawyer Reports on China is currently sponsoring an essay contest for students of all ages. This year's prompt asks writers to describe a human rights issue in communist China that they think deserves more attention, what current efforts are addressing it, and what can be done in the future to resolve it. To learn more about this contest, please go to catholic.edu chr and visit our Human Rights Essay Contest page.